Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and welcome back to my channel for Life After 40. Have you noticed these curls? I mean, I can't remember, honestly, I cannot remember the last time my curls were this defined. I have been searching and researching and searching again through tons of YouTube videos about anything that's natural that could possibly revitalize or resuscitate my curls. And you guys probably know about this already, it's nothing new. You've got bentonite clay, okay, that's known for its clay, um, curl definition. And I've been seeing lots of people using rice water and that intrigued me. So I, I did my research, I really read into it, the benefits of using rice water and where this phenomenon, if you want to call it that, actually came from. And it traces its origins back to China. Um, from this tribe of women that actually use this regularly and are known to have the longest, the strongest and the thickest, glossiest, lustrous hair you have ever seen. In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I achieve a bentonite clay mask plus a rice water rinse. I've combined the two together and the results were these phenomenal curls. I mean, look at this definition. I do not think I have ever, ever had this level of definition through any product that I have used and believe me if you guys have been following me or if you know anything about my hair journey you know I have used a range of products but this has given me the best results I have ever 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 had and I'm so pleased with it and I want to share that with you guys so if you're interested keep watching so I'm just showing you how I prepare my clay mask and for this you're going to need some apple cider vinegar and I'm showing you two different brands because I know that most people are used to seeing and hearing about the Bragg's brand but there are other brands of apple cider vinegar here as you can see and you can buy these from your local whole food store or from Amazon. So I'm using the bentonite clay and um, I'm just basically eyeballing how much I need. Uh, so I just put a couple of spoonfuls or more in there um, according to what I predict I might need for my whole head. However, it turns out I was wrong. I needed to come and make some more of this mix uh, to actually finish off the whole of my hair because um, what I'd made originally wasn't enough. So the, the best thing to do is make sure you shake your bottle of um, apple cider vinegar just so that the mother, which is the cloudy substance that you will see usually settled at the bottom of your bottle, just mixes in nicely with the rest of the contents because it would have separated. And I'm just going to again eyeball how much I need because the object is to have a consistency of like a pancake mix. So that's way too thick and I need to add some more. Uh, just to make it a bit looser yeah so you want to make sure you also do this with plastic uh, bowl and spoon because if you use metal it actually reacts with the um, clay so it's best to use plastic um, and you'll see lots of people mixing this in videos and they always use a plastic spoon and a bowl to do this okay so I just give it a good stir and then um, once I've got that pancake consistency and here's my rice water now this has been fermenting for about 48 hours so it absolutely stinks it really smells really bad but I'll come back to the benefits of using rice water um, at the time when you see me in the video using it to rinse my hair so this is my hair it's actually damp I've spritzed it with water because it's much easier to apply the um, clay mask on damp hair if you apply it to dry hair it will not be able to be spreaded that easily so for me I find that um, if my hair is damp then it spreads more easily and this once you apply this to your hair you'll find that your hair becomes extremely stiff so don't be shocked it's just a normal um, reaction with the clay but everything that you are using is natural you will not have any adverse side effects from using this um, the other thing, the other benefits that I'd like to just highlight for clay is that clay is a natural hair cleanser and it works by just removing all the impurities and the buildup from your hair and your scalp. But it's so gentle that um, it does it in a way where it doesn't leave your hair stripped like most harsh shampoos will. But yet you'll get the same type of cleansing effect overall from using the, the clay. 
so I just spread this on my hair and it just reminds me of when I used to have my hair relaxed and how you would uh, paste on the relaxer except you know this is much better for your hair with this in my hair I'm just reminded of the Himba tribe of Namibia which is an African um, tribe of women who use clay and other um, things like butters in their hair as a way of protecting and styling their hair so this is you know it's nothing new it's something that has been used for centuries um, you know using clay in the hair especially for um, African women yeah so once I've um, covered my whole head with the clay the next thing I do is to just wrap cling film over my hair and I used I kept that in my hair for over an hour just to make sure that the clay was able to do its work so you can see me just using the cling film or saran wrap if that's what you um, um, you know it by so after that the next thing I did was I rinsed out the clay mask and then I added my 10 in 1 renewal by Shea Moisture and I sat under a hooded dryer with it in my hair for about half an hour so this is me after I have done that bit of treatment and you can see already the hair what it's looking like and um, I'm just going to rinse that out now with warm water so there is nothing or no product in my hair at all by now my hair was super super moisturized it just felt really soft and very very manageable so I'm just going to go ahead and rinse that out now in the shower um, with some tepid water I'm not one of these um, people that like to um, rinse my hair out while I'm having a shower I hate the feeling of product running down my body so I prefer to wash my hair separately to my body um, hence why I have my hair or my head over the bath rather than um, me being in the bath with the shower running over me so I just want to take you through the benefits of rice water whilst this is playing um, basically rice water and I say fermented rice water has tons and tons of nutrients in it it's high in amino acids and carbohydrates which are all very good for your hair but there's one particular um, nutrient or compound in fermented rice water that has a particular effect on your hair and that is inositol it stays in the hair even after the rice water has been rinsed out so it acts as a shield and protects your hair from damage so like I was saying before rice water is very rich in amino acids and antioxidants which help protect your hair but also because rice water is slightly acidic it actually lowers the pH of your hair so it's very good for your hair there's also another substance in rice water which is called Pitera and that forms in the rice water and it's very rich in vitamins amino acids organic acids and minerals this is known to promote cell regeneration so it actually does help hair growth so the videos that you see of people online who have used fermented rice water rinse for weeks and months on end and are showing um, particular hair growth length or hair gain with that are actually true their claims are true if you research it you will see that all of these nutrients are in the actual rice water so like I was saying before the rice water actually smells awfully so the best thing to do first of all you want to dilute it a bit with some extra water because it's quite concentrated if you just um, pour out the actual water from the rice so the best thing to do is to pour this into a small bowl but then go ahead and dilute it with some extra water and it's best to do this with warm or cold water so you can see me here I'm just pouring my rice water into another bowl or container and try not to get any of the rice grains into the water because you don't want those in your hair and to eliminate the odor I like to use some essential oil so I'm just going to add a few drops of grapefruit oil because that actually gets rid of that nasty smell the last thing you want to do is use fermented rice water as a final rinse in your hair and have your hair stink into the high heavens um, it's just revolting so I just prefer to um, 
add some essential oils because then that completely takes away the smell of the fermented rice water. So I'm just diluting it with some extra water and um, I'm going to give that a little mix and the next thing I'm going to do is pour this over my hair. So I'm going to use the bigger bowl to catch the water that's um, coming from my hair so that I can keep pouring the rice water over my hair several times to make sure my hair is fully saturated with all of the rice water. This is actually the final rinse. Um, there's no need to rinse it out with plain water after this because you want the rice water to actually penetrate your hair shaft which it's completely capable of doing um, and it will keep working long after um, you've actually stopped. So I'm just making sure I get all of my strands completely saturated with this rice water and I'll keep pouring this several times until I feel that I've actually covered each and every strand of my hair and my scalp too. So this is actually going to feed your hair from the outside straight into the shaft. You know, all of those rich nutrients that are actually in the rice water. I mean, this has got to be the cheapest hair conditioner you could ever find. And the most effective. But since I've been using this, I've noticed I've had... It's literally almost taken my hair shedding to zero. I mean, the amount of shedding I have now is so minimal, you can hardly notice. Whereas before, my hair was shedding like crazy. Just just from, you know, the stresses of life and everything else that goes on with, with life sometimes. You know, when you're going through stuff, it affects your hair. Especially us women, hormonal imbalance. There are so many factors that can actually have a negative impact on your hair. And it's normal to shed hair, but excessive shedding is not normal. It's an indication that something is wrong. So, um, you know, I was I was really desperate to look for something, to find something that would help me. And this really has. It's increased the elasticity of, elasticity of my hair. My hair feels a lot stronger now. So, yeah, I, I'm really grateful for having discovered this. And I'm thankful for all those people on YouTube who actually upload these sorts of videos to, you know, educate people like me and for you who are watching. So this is the final... Um, results you can see my hair my curls are really really defined my hair looks really rich it is rich it feels soft you know and um, i'm just really pleased with it so thanks for watching guys and i hope to see you soon in the next video bye for now Wash to the point you bleaching your skin Blind to the truth and can't see the beauty within Cause ain't nothing wrong with exercise to tighten your thighs But there's something wrong with contacts to light in your eyes We going backwards from hip hop in the park To the experiments by Dr. Kenneth Clark So after the cannabis, I'ma have to handle this Release the pressure on her and open her like an amethyst yeah.